This next one is a name almost everybody knows. Emmett Till. There's been a whole book of poems about Emmett Till. I had a footnote to this poem for people, some people maybe who don't know who Emmett Till was. And I'll read my footnote. In 1955, Till, a 14-year-old from Chicago, for allegedly whistling at a white woman in Mississippi, was murdered by a white man who took, tied a gin mill fan around his neck and threw his body into the Tallahatchie River. 1955. Now, that's a short poem. It took me seven years to write it. Because the subject was such a terrible thing. Now I remembered something from Shakespeare or Chaucer about a little a Jewish boy who was murdered. Throat was cut and his body was thrown into the gutter. And a legend arose that if you pass this corner, you would hear somebody whistling. And then I remember something that Yeats said. He said that people in time will not react to violence. But he said if you turn your subject into a legend, and they would remember. And I was thinking of <clears throat> trying to do that. Emmett Till. Oh, another thing. Curious thing about some people in the United States. When I showed the footnote, which was trying to get away from me, Well, they read, uh, somebody in the publisher's office, I guess, changed my first words. Remember, in 1955, Emmett Till, a 14-year-old from Chicago. Now, this person changed it in this subtle way. He said, in 1955, comma, Till, comma, a 14-year-old from Chicago. There's a great difference, in my opinion, between calling a young boy by his first name and calling him by his last name. If you call him by his last name, you're thinking of him as being older. Now, whoever changed this didn't want to think of Till being just a boy because of what happened to him. They don't. So he changed it without knowing what he was doing in my opinion. Immaterial. Finally, after seven years, I began this poem and I finished it in 18 minutes. It had entered my being, you see, in an unforgettable way. Immaterial. In 1955, Till, a 14-year-old from Chicago, okay, I won't read that again. I hear a whistling through the water. Little Emmett won't be still. He keeps floating round the darkness, edging through the silent chill. Tell me, please, that bedtime story of the fairy river boy who swims forever deep in treasures, necklaced in a coral toy. The gin mill fan is pretty heavy if you know anything about machines like that. 
And I, for ironic reasons, call it a toy.